Hello once again internet, it's me Carmen coming right back at you and I am out here in marvelous Williamsburg, Virginia hanging out near downtown Williamsburg taking it all in. I figured I would bring y'all along with me for a little bit of the ride and see what's going on. So right now I'm on Duke of Gloucester Street going all the way from down there down to the other end over here and as you can see it's not quite as crowded as it would usually be this time of year for Williamsburg. Someone let me across the street. But I think that it's kind of nice being out here because I know it's interesting to see Williamsburg like this right now because usually this time of year, this whole area, you'd see all sorts of people walking down the street, business going on, things happening, but it's a little different. Williamsburg is very peaceful to me. I always enjoy coming to Williamsburg. I always enjoy seeing the area. I haven't really explored actual colonial Williamsburg as much as I should. I've come down here as a kid. I've came down here with friends and walked around by myself. But especially with right now, with the lack of crowds here, it's kind of a good time to come out here and see things because you get a perspective right now that normally would not be as easy to obtain when you have a lot of crowds around. I was actually just talking to some people back there who work of Colonial Williamsburg and all the garb and dress coat. I was saying how it's really not that busy out here right now. It, it's a shame that's from such an unfortunate event, but it's very nice to be able to walk through Williamsburg like this. And it's interesting because what I found out is the courthouse, the governor's palace, and I think one other building I didn't seem to catch or remember is still open for people to go inside. A lot of the Colonial places, the shops and different merchants and things, that are ran by Colonial Williamsburg. A lot of them are still open in an outdoor capacity. So it's very interesting how everything is kind of open, but they are adapting to the new norms. I don't really want to encourage like everyone to flock here, but I will say, from what I've seen, definitely you have a good amount of mask wearing. You have, you have a lot of the protections in place that keep people safe. It seems like they're very much taking that seriously while trying to strike a good balance. And you can still actually buy tickets for the Colonial Williamsburg experience, but the thing about it is with the different circumstances, obviously it's a bit of a different experience, so they do have a reduced price on the tickets. But yeah, it is nice just to be out here honestly, enjoy the scenery, taking in the views, having a nice little walk in good old Colonial Williamsburg walking down Duke of Gloucester Street right now. I started out the video over there. As you can see, you have the Governor's Palace grounds kind of towards this area. I think actually back, that's Boot Bruton Parish Church. You have the Governor's Ground somewhere near this area. And down here you have the Capitol Building. I think it was the Governor's Palace, the Capitol Building, and in addition to both of those areas, the courthouse that are still open for people to see and go inside if you have the membership to Colonial Williamsburg. Right here you have the Colonial Courthouse. Of course down there you have the Capitol. Looking in the other direction, that's where we started out the video. So I think it's very interesting to see see this right now, especially of the little area where the prisoners would be shackled. You would, and a lot of times people like to pose here, but unfortunately due to the COVID restrictions right now, you're not allowed to touch this, which is probably smart because I could see people leaning on this all day. Probably good surfaces for germs to spread, but it's a pretty cool photo opportunity. And I was almost thinking about getting a photo here until I came over here and saw this, but it's all good. All in the name of doing the right thing best we can. Continuing to walk down the street here. These lovely shaded trees doing some work. I was also told that there's a lot of projects going on right now, which doesn't really surprise me since construction has been mostly uninterrupted. Oh wow, must have just been shooting off some cannons. Anyhow, since construction has been mostly uninterrupted by this pandemic, I don't want to say uninterrupted because I could be wrong there, like I really haven't been paying attention, but the act of actually doing the work itself is still able to mostly go on right now. So I've seen they're doing some road projects down there. Well, a sidewalk project. They're doing something right here. I'm not sure what they're doing. I imagine probably some preservation or restoration work of some sort. Or just plain old building maintenance. These, some of these are probably somewhat old buildings. Somewhat old. 
just a little bit old. We have the corner of Queen and Duke of Gloucester right here. Keep on walking Queen Street. Very pristine, tranquil, and peaceful out here right now. I think it was funny because my mask had actually just slipped off my face when I was saying that. And honestly, outside it probably is one of those things where as long as you're not nearby a group of people, it doesn't matter. And personally, I don't always wear my mask outside. But being out here right now, I think it's important, especially when you have the potential to walk up close to people. As you can see on this building, are talking about the critical maintenance and preservation projects going on right now and I think probably part of the reason why they might be doing all of this this year is because of COVID and it gives even though it's an unfortunate opportunity considering how many fewer crowds have been in the area it's given them probably some opportunities they wouldn't have otherwise had because Williamsburg is very much a historical area and you also have a lot of hotels here, but it's not really like a beach town. So you don't really see the same type of vacation traffic you might see in Virginia Beach or the Outer Banks. I'm not necessarily even talking about just numbers here, but just like the kinds of crowds that come in general. You kind of don't really have quite as much of the party going crowd. And that being said, I don't really... I'm kind of just speaking from what I would think to be correct on that. I could be wrong, like at least partially on that fact, but... Considering the crowds here right now, I think there probably is some truth in that because Williamsburg is generally has a lot more people and I think probably a lot of that's driven partly by Bush Gardens and of course partly by Colonial Williamsburg both of which have been impacted by this to a certain degree and since Bush Gardens is closed in combination of less people going out in general right now I think that's why Williamsburg you're really seeing the effects of it. And by the effects of it, I do mean the effects of the pandemic, the effect of less travel, like less vacationers, less vacationing, the economic stuff going on right now because of the pandemic. And I imagine all of it's kind of combined. And I will say, while it is an unfortunate situation, and I do not want to take any light, this pandemic is a very unfortunate situation that's going on right now. But I do think that it is, there may be one little silver lining is being able to enjoy a place like Williamsburg without all the crowds. Because this time of year, I've been here before when they have in the middle of the summer like this. And it definitely helps, I think, being able to just walk down the street here and not worry quite as much about the large groups of crowds and people congregating. Not even just because of the pandemic, but just in general. It's very nice out here very relaxed and Williamsburg always is I'm not dogging it or saying that's not any other time but it's really it's just a very nice experience to be here right now continuing towards the Capitol building you see some of the colonial shops here and they're not really open right now for business but you can see some of the places I was told do have some outside things going on you have a little like looks like a little speaker system hidden up in the tree i've noticed that before it's a very interesting setup i can imagine that comes in handy when there's events or big announcements to make because it's kind of you wouldn't really notice it because it blends into the trees and whatnot but you can see a little wi-fi access point pretty interesting i'm kind of a geek so i'm a geek so i find some of that stuff interesting we're continuing on down the street here in good old colonial Williamsburg. You can see some of the beautiful, some of the beautiful landscaping work here. I don't think this is an area people are allowed to go into, but it looks like some sort of small garden. You have a little bike shop. It says Rally Tavern Bike Shop on that building, or Bake Shop. I said Bike Shop. Rally Tavern Bake Shop. <laughs> right down there. Very interesting. You have the good old Shields Tavern right there, and with the power of movie magic. Now, you have the Shields Tavern right here. I always thought this was kind of funny because, of course, my last name is Shields. It's my own personal namesake. French Huguenot immigrant Jean Margot kept a tavern here 1708 through 1717. His daughter Anne 
and her husband James Shields followed suit in the 1740s. So I think I'm gonna get myself a drink, kind of go in, you know, just get try a new brew out. What? Closed? Man, I'm gonna have to find another tavern. And here I am wanting to support the Shields. What you gonna do? <laughs> so I think I'm gonna get myself a drink, kind of go in, you know, just get try a new brew out. What? Closed? Man, I'm gonna have to find another tavern. And here I am wanting to support the Shields. What you gonna do? Of course, I don't want to encourage drinking, underage drinking, which I'm not underage, so that doesn't apply to me, or excessive drinking. But hey, I wouldn't have minded spending some time in the Shields Tavern, seeing what it's all about. I've actually went in there before when I was a kid and I visited Williamsburg with my family, so I really, I don't really remember that at all, unfortunately. I remember bits and pieces and we have photos, but I'd have to go back in there to get the full experience. And of course, I don't think this trip would be complete without seeing the colonial capital, the capitol building. Obviously, I can't go inside both because I don't have the membership and probably because you would either have to still arrange that and go inside kind of like with a group or like a certain amount of people at a time. I don't know what their exact policy is on that, but I do like seeing it like this. It's always fun to get into Williamsburg and be able to see these different places. Although, to be fair, I'm not that well versed in the history like I should be. I used to really like history and I still do, but it's a wonderful day to be out here. Very little in the way of crowds, stuff going on. The reasoning why is unfortunate, but it is nice to be out here and enjoy Colonial Williamsburg and be able to see it in this way. This historic site was the seat of Virginia's colonial government for 75 years. Here in May 1765, Patrick Henry denounced the Stamp Act and on May 15, 1776, a Virginia convention unanimously proposed that the Continental Congress to quote unquote declare quote declare the United Colonies free and independent states. On June 12th, 1776, a Virginia convention approved George Mason's Declaration of Rights and on June 29th adopted the first constitution for the new Commonwealth of Virginia. Hello everyone, I am back in the car now. I just wanted to say my quick goodbyes before I head out. It was enjoyable vlogging, but I needed to get some rest. It was getting hot out, so I walked back out here, and now If I'm you guys like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and let me know what you thought in the comments down below. I'm going to head out for this one, but I appreciate y'all watching, and I hope y'all have a wonderful day, and peace out, everyone.